Sony's PlayStation 4 has finally arrived, signaling the start of the next generation of console gaming. Its sharp, split plastic shell houses powerful PC-like components, including the power supply, unlike the Xbox One, which makes use of a large external power brick. On the inside, Sony went with AMD's 64-bit Jaguar line of accelerated processing units. APUs combine the CPU and GPU onto a single chip, streamlining communication between the two components, and simplifying heat management within the system's confined spaces. In order to power the PS4's next-gen graphics, the GPU half of the APU uses 1,152 shader cores to push 1.8 teraflops of data per second. All this processing works in unison with the system's 8GB of GDDR5, a type of RAM typically reserved for PC graphic cards. With the PlayStation 4 being primarily a game machine, this makes sense, and games with large, high-res textures will benefit from GDDR5's ability to quickly move large chunks of data to the APU. To handle the space requirements of next-gen games, which have to be installed on the hard drive, Sony's included a 500GB SATA 2 hard drive rated at 5,400 RPM with every PS4. With Blu-ray discs capable of storing up to 50GB of data, Sony's conveniently designed the PS4 to allow you to swap in aftermarket storage, including faster and more reliable solid-state drives. The only requirements are that the drive have a capacity greater than 160GB and be no thicker than 9.5mm. Like the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4 features a slot-loading optical drive capable of reading Blu-rays and DVD discs. But unfortunately, CDs are no longer supported. Straddling the optical drive, the PS4 features thin capacitive buttons for power and eject functionality. Two USB 3.0 ports lie to the right of the optical drive, though unfortunately there's currently no support for external storage. Considering that, it's unclear how the system will take advantage of the speed afforded by USB 3.0. At the moment, these ports are mostly used to charge the DualShock 4 controller over a micro USB cable. Looking on the back of this system, you'll find the usual suspects. Optical audio out, gigabit ethernet port, and HDMI out. The last port in the row, labeled AUX, is used exclusively with the PlayStation camera, an aftermarket accessory that costs $60. Then beneath it all lies the familiar two-pronged power port used on later PS3 models, in addition to older consoles such as the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and the original Xbox. <music> Lastly, the PlayStation 4 can be set flat or stand up on its side with or without the official accessory. Stay tuned to GameSpot for more PlayStation 4 coverage as the system launch is coming up on November 15th.